Powered by Ford. Go further. How's it going, guys? And Aaron from Techno Buffalo. And it's not even day one of CES yet. CES 2013 has not kicked off. The booths are open tomorrow. The show floor will be tomorrow. But we got a phone right here thanks to Sony's press conference. It's the Sony Xperia Z. This has a 1.5 gigahertz quad-core Snapdragon S4 Pro CPU with 2 gigabytes of RAM. It's packing a 5-inch 1080 by 1920 display. So 1080p full HD, kind of carrying along in that tradition that we've seen with HTC with the Droid DNA. Nice to see 1080p displays making their way into the mainstream marketplace. You've got a 13 megapixel camera on the back as well, but of course 1080p HD video recording, NFC capabilities, nice Xperia logo on the back. And this thing is dust and water resistant as well. It's got kind of a unique design to it. And kind of a different version of Sony's Timescape user interface on this device as well. 4G LTE for super fast entertainment, although there's no carrier announcements just yet. 4G LTE in select markets, so we'll see where this device comes. And I believe this is running Android 4.1, but I could be wrong. Let me double check here. We'll go into is it Jelly Bean? Okay. Speaking of, while he says that, I've got John here with Sony. He's going to talk a little bit about some of the media features. As you can see, we have a beautiful display that's powered by our Bravia Engine 2. One of the features that I'm going to demo to you is our one-touch connectivity with our new Bravia TVs. So we'll go ahead and start a video, and I'll think to myself, man, I would love to watch this also on my TV in my beautiful living room. So we go ahead and tap it. And it'll automatically connect via Wi-Fi over your home Wi-Fi network and prepare the screen. And next thing you know, oops, we'll go ahead and start playing the video, and then it automatically displays up on the TV. There we go. You're seeing some of the media features in this device, and this is something I've always thought Sony's done really, really well. Hopefully, they'll continue to integrate that in in 2013. We'll see some of these devices in the U.S. as well. CES 2013 continues throughout the week. Be sure to stay tuned to Techno Buffalo for continuing updates. I'm at Aaron C. Baker on Twitter. The company's at Techno Buffalo, and we'll see you next time. Thank you again to Ford.